Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video 20 we having a Hyundai Tucson. Let's say you guys have a Hyundai Tucson and uh, you remove the intake manifold, you actually have quite a bit of engine oil in the intake manifold or you have quite a bit of carbon buildup in the intake manifold, throttle body, intake valves. We will explain the number one thing that can cause that and that thing can practically destroy your engine if you don't take care of it. It costs only a few dollars and it takes less than two minutes to replace it. It's an item that it's serviceable and you should replace it let's say every 50 60 000 miles but almost nobody ever replaces it so we will explain what it is before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now Another thing, if you guys need to buy parts, tools, anything for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. So, with that being said, let's explain okay, what we are going to do here. So, this right here is a 2.4 GDI engine that we will demonstrate on. Now, we, I want to show you the throttle body first before we bring the intake manifold and the cylinder head, but the throttle body, guys okay right here we clean only half of it so you should see uh, you can see what it should look like and the other one is covered with carbon buildup okay and oil and if you look okay we'll bring the intake manifold too okay we're going to bring the intake manifold but all that will result into dirty engine on the inside carbon buildup in the pistons carbon buildup in the valves and that can cause quite a bit of damage and wear to the engine as well another thing you may uh, notice increased oil consumption and that intake manifold check it out guys okay you will be surprised all that is there and you wonder why so stay with us and we will explain so let's come to right here now okay let me just get a wipe quick because I'm covered here with engine oil. Now, if you look at that cylinder head, those are the intake valves. I want to show you what the valves look like. They're practically, guys, okay, covered with deposits. Okay, right there. That's a lot of deposits and carbon and oil buildup. So what causes that now? Let's explain that quick. So on top of the cylinder head, you, uh, on top of the cylinder head, you have the valve cover okay which is right there on that valve cover guys okay you're going to have one device that's known as a pcv valve so that pcv valve catches the positive crankcase ventilation uh, system practically that's a positive crankcase ventilation system and what it does okay when the engine runs pistons go up and down that will create internal pressure also you will always have some blow by gas around the pistons so that gas needs to exit out of the engine otherwise you're going to uh, room, uh, you have multiple oil leaks, uh, gaskets will go bad, oil seals will go bad and uh, practically your engine will be destroyed. So they invented that PCV system which one part of the PCV valve is located in the intake manifold which is the one that you should service and replace and the other one is underneath, okay, right here that separates the oil fumes from the vapor, uh, from the from the oil, uh, from practically from the air so the oil fumes will leak back in the engine and the uh, uh, clean air will be injected in the intake manifold but if that system fails guys what happens you start putting engine oil in the intake manifold from there everything will be dirty you will cause carbon buildup to the uh, and oil buildup on the intake valves inside the engine and that can be catastrophic guys so you will need to most likely replace your pcv valve and in some cases the valve cover as well if you want to do that uh, we have the video on the channel that explains each one of those how to replace valve cover and pcv valve and also we'll have the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time